Good morning and welcome back to the Tom Rosa. Here we are in the milk house getting ready for morning chores and I just wanted to take a few minutes and show you how our new pulse milker works. This is our main milking machine here on the farm and it's what we use every day. So here's everything in its storage mode. So the milking cluster itself is hanging on the jetter washer. We have a lid, which is just basically a fresh cow lid. Notice there's no extra hole on top for a pulsator to attach to, because the pulsator is built into the claw itself. And then our bucket. And this is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff put together because the bucket is an old De Lavelle bucket, which is very heavily constructed a lot more heavily constructed than something you'd buy new today. The bucket itself weighs just 10 pounds empty. And then I have the new Pulse Claw, but the shells are actually De Lavelle 06 shells, or 06 shells. And the inflations are actually GEA Classic uh, inflations. And so let's get ready to milk. So the first thing I have to do is put all this together and run some sanitizer. Over here on the wall we got our vacuum hose hanging. For sanitizer, we use a GEA product called Zinnison. It is a chlorine based sanitizer. Of course, need to get the milking gloves on. So here's our sanitizer water. All right, before we Start running the machine, we're going to take our strainer and sanitize that. Grab a milk filter disc. And then this sits on the bulk tank which you're also sitting on. All right. All right, now we're ready to sanitize. Vacuum pump on. Wait for our vacuum to build where we need it. And now we're cycling sanitizer through the milking machine. This jetter washer has this little tube that when it's washing goes into the side of the claw right there. However, once you're done and you pull that out, you need to make sure that you put this plug in. Because if the plug's not in, you're not going to be uh, milking. This sanitizer water right now is hot. Keep it 
because I will recycle it when I'm done milking for my warm water rinse before I use soap. Buttercup, all done. Everything is now dirty, and so it's time to clean up. The water that I pre-rinse with is the sanitizer that I used before milking. It was hot then, but now it's just lukewarm, which makes it a great temperature for your first rinse. Dent, right there. When I fill water to that level, that is just less than half a bucket. Because what you don't want to do is rinse Forget to dump, and then start washing with soap and overflow your bucket and suck it into the vacuum line, which is bad. So every batch of water that I run through is just less than half, so I have at least a second chance to remember to dump it. You should dump it after every cycle, but I have been known to forget, so that's my built-in safety mechanism. Now we'll mix up some soap. We use hot water, it's like 160 degrees. Before we uh, run it through the bucket milker though, we gotta clean our strainer.
We're just rinsing with hot water right now. Uh, once a week I do an acid wash. So after the soap, I run a uh, acid solution through and that dissolves any milk stone or other mineral buildup from our hard water. But that's not done every day. I only do that once a week. Otherwise, uh, it's just the hot water rinse after the soap and then I will drain everything and hang it up to drip dry. Thanks for coming along on this morning's chores and seeing how we use the new post milker on our farm. We really like it. It's a very old, time proven design. And in the future, when we upgrade to a pipeline, we still plan to use the new pulse. So we think it's a great milker. We recommend it, especially on smaller farms. And otherwise, we will see you next time on the Tomarosa.